Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Bola here. We are now this 12th game for November 8, 2023, NBA game day. This is the game between Toronto Raptors and Dallas Mavericks. That will be at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. The spread, by the way, that is given is minus 5.5, and that's given towards Dallas Mavericks. By the way, as we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, just reach us through our Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, Viber, uh, you know, just check out the descriptions of our videos and you can see the details right there. All right. All right. So let's get back to the game. Dallas Mavericks, uh, they would be enjoying the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, we can skip that part. Both teams are actually coming off rest. Um, in terms of momentum, well, both teams are actually coming off wins, right? Yeah, Toronto Raptors, they're coming off a win. Dallas Mavericks, well, Dallas Mavericks, they are uh, the hotter team, I would say. Even though both teams are coming off wins, Dallas Mavericks, they are coming off back-to-back -back wins. And not only that, Dallas Mavericks' record is actually great with six wins and one loss. So I would have to say that the momentum is with Dallas Mavericks' side. So let's take a look at the availability and health of both teams. For Toronto Raptors, I see a couple of players listed as uh, questionable. And those are Christian Coloco and uh, Precious Achua. While for Dallas Mavericks, I see one player who is also listed as questionable. And that's Maxi Kleber. So uh, with, you know, with the fact that only one is in the injury list for Dallas... Uh, Kleber, um, I would have to say that Dallas also has the advantage in terms of uh, health. Okay. <clears throat> Everything seems to be pointing towards Dallas Mavericks' uh, the, uh, side. You know, they are at home. They are the hotter team. Uh, they are the quote-unquote healthier team. Toronto Raptors, uh, you can take a look at their record. Uh, yes, they're coming off a win, but they are having a record less than 500%. You know, three wins, four losses. But the, uh, the spread of 5.5, I'm not really comfortable with that, to, you know, to sign with Dallas. Um, I don't know if you could still remember whenever these two teams meet or whenever these two teams met, I mean. So that was last season. You know, um, Dallas Mavericks couldn't really break away. Um, if we take a look at it, the last two games that these two, the last two times that these two teams met, Toronto Raptors won by five points. And then, then, then there, there's Dallas winning just by one point. You know, so 5.5. Not really that comfortable, plus the fact that we ain't sure if Kleber would be playing. And if Kleber would not be playing, Toronto Raptors uh, would really have a, you know, would really have a huge plus. Because Raptors is a, big, you know. They are a big team. They have a lot of rebounders. They have a lot of players who can play inside. So for Dallas Mavericks, they would really need Kleber. Um, and the Toronto Raptors, they're also coming off that uh, huge win. Um, that was an OT win, right? Um, I guess that was Sunday. Uh, Toronto Raptors just defeated uh, San Antonio Spurs uh, in an OT win, 123-116. So I'm going to side with uh, Toronto Raptors here, and I'll go ahead and take the plus 5.5. I mean, uh, uh, I'm looking at the, about the possibility of Dallas winning the game, but Toronto Raptors, I guess, would have enough size, would have enough length, uh, to still, you know, to uh, to kind of keep this one close and cover the spread. So my pick would be Toronto Raptors plus 5.5. Again, that's Raptors plus 5.5. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.